Pulling. And look, they're prepping already for top. He puts a deep ward behind tower, a ward up on the triangle as well too. He has Illuminate, so this also is going to be really strong for them to go for aggressive plays. Went OG. And he's, he's more than happy to go in. He's got Sonic Wave in a second, and for the Aegis, the Kaya Sands, the Plate now. He's tanky. This Quid of Pain is very hard to kill. Miragi. He's trying to start some. He's looking at the silence, catches Quinn because he nearly dies. In fact, he may just be dead anyway. The Sonic Wave comes out. He's gone. Celery with the ult, catches onto DM and Tiger. Ace has got the raw onto PZM. This is looking like it's going to be a team wipe. Everybody going down on OG. No amount of spirit siphons enough to save DM. Oh, and it's over. I, I, I think they might actually just call it. They might. Uh, this, I think now the racks might just die. And we're there only 17 is. minutes in. They called it. All right. Holy well, moly. As we said, they were trying something a bit different. You know, coming in with some uh, different heroes. Uh, the, the, the different heroes definitely work for Gaming Gladiators. Quinn with the Quop this game, I believe, what didn't die at all. Mm -hmm. uh, very, very smooth showing for him. I mean, smooth showing across the board there. This He's going to have his finish as well. Triple BKB cores versus limited physical damage, only that TA. Found Duraccio. The BKBs. And the backup's coming in. Quinn's ready to join the fight. Yuragi's taken out again. They've just got to run OG. And once again, they're, they're unable to even do that. It's three dead. They call it. They'll call it. Alrighty. Well, 22 minute GG after a 17 minute GG. This was a rough day for OG and a very, very good one for Gaming Gladiators. A 40 minute series. Um, all right.